Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Amy Reads. Today is very exciting because I am trying Becca's Bookopoly for the very first time. So I said earlier in the year that I wanted to try out different booktubers TBR games or ways that they go about doing their monthly TBRs and I set a goal to do this every other month and that still allowed me time um, some of the time to create my own TBRs. I tend to be more of a mood reader but I also like to give myself a grouping of six or seven books in a month that I can choose from and that helps me kind of narrow it down and then of course I'll end up getting library holds in and it'll mess everything up. But that's my life. And today we are trying out Becca from Becca and the Books Famous Bookopoly. I'm going to very briefly show you my board. I know that's bright. That was the chair, not me. Here is a more detailed look at the board um, because when I'm actually doing uh, the, the Bookopoly, when I'm actually playing the game, you can't see it as well. So I wanted to give you guys um, a little look-see at my really terrible drawings. I'm not artistic at all and you can see that. It's fairly evident. But let's go ahead and um, go over the rules and how Becca does it. Um, so Becca gives herself five rolls every month and then just like in the game of Monopoly, if you roll doubles, you have to roll again, which means another book added to your TBR. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut to me playing the game. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my board and I don't know how well you can see it. I've tried to, um, of course there's cat hair on it because why wouldn't there be? Um, I have tried to change the setting and make the lighting a little bit better but I'll just briefly tell you what I've got. Um, obviously over here we have Go to Goodreads and Randomize which is the same as Becca. We're going to use a Pusheen um, as our little marker by the way. We have Children's Book and Middle Grade and then of course A Chance. We have Gifted we have Contemporary Romance in this corner and a Community Shelf. Over here we have Read an Audiobook or Ebook. Um, here we have Mystery Thriller and we have two of those. We have a Horror and then in the middle we have a Book of the Month pick. Um, here we have Read a Library Book um, and then we have Magical Realism on either side of Fantasy which uh, there's only one, uh, there's so much cat hair on this just from sitting on the floor. Um, uh, there's only one fantasy because I don't really own a lot of fantasy, so I hope I don't even land on that. Um, this one here is a 500 plus page book, dear God. Um, and then we have Hard Hitting Contemporary with a community shelf in the middle. We have Most Recent Purchase, General Fiction, Chance. We have a classic. June's about to come in and ruin everything. Hi, June. We have a friend recommendation. Over here we have a comic and graphic novel. And then we have a nonfiction right here. This one we have My Husband Will Pick. Hi, can you get off my board? This is why it has fur all over it. Yes, thank you. Um, and then here on the last bit we have two historical fictions and in the middle I have um, to pick a book with the word book in the title. And then we have my chance cards and those are um, four books that I want to read and four books I don't really want to read. <laughs> and then community shelf we just have some random prompts some of which I've taken from my TBR jar some of which I've just made up. So, um, just like Becca does, I guess June's going to stay in here for the duration, aren't you, baby? Um, just like Becca does, we're going to do five rolls. If I roll double, then that means I have to do another one. So, let's go. Right off the bat, I have rolled doubles. Fantastic. But that is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have Contemporary Romance. 
So my first roll was a contemporary romance, which I have three spaces on the board for because it's one of my favorite uh, genres to read from. And so for that, I chose a YA contemporary romance, and that is From Twinkle with Love by Sandhya Menon. Um, I have yet to read this, obviously. I did read When Dimple Met Rishi, and I really liked this. Uh, so anyway, I know this is about a young photographer, and she falls in love, I think, with like a film student. Maybe she's the film student. Yeah. Something about her longtime crush and then his twin brother. I don't know. Why contemporary? Um, I wasn't crazy about Sandia's Menon's uh, like contemporary fantasy retelling that she put out earlier this year, but I did really like her, her other like just straight up contemporary. So I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Okay, since I rolled doubles, I gotta roll again. Oh my gosh, I rolled doubles again. Okay, uh, it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Read a library book. Next, I rolled a library book, and I'm not sad to roll that at all because although my library is currently closed because of COVID-19, um, I am still using my library's Libby app to get ebooks and audiobooks like crazy. So for this I'm going to read Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. Um, I have read from Becky Albertalli. I have not read from Aisha Saeed before. Uh, I know that this is a YA, again, contemporary, and this follows two people who are both campaigning uh, for a political um, figure and they have to go out canvassing and I think I think they come from different backgrounds. I don't know if they have the same political views or not, but I've heard really great things about this collaboration, actually. Um, wasn't crazy about Becky Albertalli's last collaboration, What If It's Us, um, with Adam Silvera, but this one's been getting really good reviews, and I know Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads loved it, uh, so I have pretty high hopes, and I have the audiobook of this out from my library. And we are rolling doubles again! <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, general fiction. Next, I rolled general fiction. So I looked at my shelves and I kind of, you know, I didn't want to do historical fiction because that had its own spot on my board, um, you know, and I wanted to kind of steer clear of romance because I have that on my board. Um, and so I wanted to go with something that was more just um, either women's fiction or literary fiction. Um, and I don't have as many choices as you would think I would. A lot of what I would consider to be literary fiction is also historical that's on my shelves. Um, or it's like contemporary with a bit of magical element. So anyways, after looking at my shelves, I decided to go with Other People's Houses by Abby Waxman. I would consider this women's fiction, but I'm pretty sure the, there's not a romance aspect to this. This is more just about like kind of dissecting these neighbors, this neighborhood, and like all the secrets that they keep and all that kind of stuff. Um, I loved Abby Waxman's first and third books. This is her second and I haven't read it yet because I tried to read it last year and I didn't like one of the main characters but I only got like 20 pages in and I think I was just like mm, I don't think I want this as the moment. Um, and I always knew I would go back and pick it up again when it was a different time. So we're going to try that this month. Okay, so that all counted for my first roll. Is that right? Because I hit, I hit doubles twice. Oh my god. Okay. So we already have three books. Okay. All right, roll number two. Boop Junie on the nose. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A comic or graphic novel. Next, I rolled a comic or graphic novel. And so I have chosen this one. It's one of the only comics graphic novels I have on my TBR that I've not read yet. And I think that's crazy. And that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. I think that this is a very pretty cover. Love the artwork. Um, Noelle Stevenson, if I am remembering, 
is who does yes lumberjanes um i have read the first like ultimate volume of lumberjanes so i think like the first four or five stories and i loved it but i've not continued with the series um and so this one um, Nimona is an impulsive young shapeshifter with a knack for villainy. Lord Ballister Blackheart is a villain with a vendetta. As a sidekick and supervillain, Nimona and Lord Blackheart are about to wreak some serious havoc. Their mission proved to the kingdom that Sir Ambrose... Ambrosius Goldenloin and his buddies at the Institution of Law Enforcement and Heroics aren't the heroes everyone thinks they are. Nemesis, dragons, science, symbolism, all these and more. <laughs> This seems like it will be very funny. I don't do a lot of fantasy stuff at all, and I realize this is fantasy, but it's a graphic novel, and it's from Noel Stevenson, who I already know I enjoy, and Lumberjanes is not contemporary either. You think that it is, and it's definitely not. Uh, so I think that this will have her um, very specific brand of humor, and I'm really excited for it. All right, roll number three. We have 11. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh darn another contemporary romance don't we hate that junie next up i rolled yet another contemporary romance um and i decided this is technically a library book um but i'm gonna read it anyway and that is twice in a blue moon by christina lauren i happen to have this out right now in audio from the library and um all I know about this one is I think we follow the daughter of like a really big Hollywood star and she grows up and works in the business somehow and I think someone she used to know when she was young is now also in the business. Maybe he is an actor and they think it's kind of a second chance romance maybe. I've heard very mixed things about this one. I've heard it's not great and I've heard it's really good. So I don't really know. Like I said, I have this from audio. I think it's a pretty short audio book, so it should go pretty quickly. I don't know. Let me know if you read this one because I know it's quite divisive. Roll number four. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another library book. I rolled another library book. Um, and so for this, I actually have a physical library book out. Like I mentioned, my libraries are currently closed. So when they closed, they were like, hey, if you have a book out, you can drop it off, but might as well just keep it till we're open because otherwise they're going to get overflowed and they can't check the books um, and bring them inside. So I just have this book for the foreseeable future and I've not read it yet. And that is The Other People by CJ Tudor. I originally got this out because Lala's Literally Dead Book Club read it last time. I didn't get around to reading it when they were reading it, but I thought this sounds really interesting. I want to pick it up. They had it in and um, it was due yesterday, I think. And now I just have it for the foreseeable future. Silver lining. Uh, so anyway, this one I know follows a couple different people. I think there is a man whose daughter is missing and that's kind of all I know. I think we're following three separate storylines. One of them being a father whose five-year-old daughter is missing and they're all going to come together somehow. That's really all I want to know about it. And my last roll, unless I roll doubles, and I probably will. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a hard hitting contemporary. And my last role was for a hard hitting contemporary. Now I realize that this one that I'm about to talk about could have been in a contemporary romance category as well, but from the subject matter, I feel like it really could be in either. And so I chose The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. As you can see, this is a book of the month book. I just got it in March. I was very excited. I loved Josie Silver's debut one day in December. That book is also either you loved it or you hated it. Um, I happen to love it, but this one follows Lydia Bird, obviously. She has been with her boyfriend, I believe, Freddie, for more than a decade. Um, on Lydia's 28th birthday, Freddie dies in a car accident, so now it's just Lydia. Um, and so something happens that gives her an opportunity to have sort of a sliding door scenario. She gets to see what life would be like if Freddie hadn't died and she gets to live the life that she has if he did die. So I know that this is emotional and sad and it reminds me sort of of Forever Interrupted meets maybe in another life, both Taylor Jenkins read books that I loved. Um, 
so I'm, I'm really excited for this one. So those are the books that I have um, chosen for Bookopoly. However, um, I still have a few things that I need to read this month. And so I'm going to go over those with you real quick as well. So um, I talk about my friend Jonna from A Book in My Bag a lot on my channel. Hi Jonna, love you. And um, we usually do buddy reads almost every month. And I don't think we did one in March. No, we haven't done one in March. And so we decided, we were like, we really miss doing a buddy read because we didn't do one in March. And frankly, March has just been insane. Uh, so we decided, big surprise, to read an Alice Hoffman book, The Marriage of Opposites. I just recently hauled this. This is historical fiction and this follows, um, this is on St. Thomas in the early 1800s. This follows a Jewish um, refugee family who escaped the European Inquisition um, and I believe there is a romance of some kind. Pa oh, I just saw the words passionate love affair. Um, John and I love Alice Hoffman. She's read even more than I have and she's really gotten me into her as an author. Um, and so this was another Alice Hoffman she hadn't read and we both owned it. So we will be buddy reading this this month. And then I also have been approved for some ARCs through NetGalley. Thank you to NetGalley. Um, uh, let's see, what do I have here? I have Admission by Julie Buxbaum. This is a Y contemporary having to do with getting into college, essentially. Um, and this one comes out on May the 5th, so I would like to get that read in April so that I can talk about it in my April wrap-up, maybe even do a review for it um, if you all want to see that. I know nobody watches reviews unless you've already read it. Um, Grown Ups by Emma Jane Unsworth. This one is I think it's published May 12th in the U.S. It's in a diff. It's under the name Adults in the U.K. and I think it's already been published. Not entirely sure. I'll be honest. I'm not super excited to read this one. It seems like very like um, 21st century woman in her late 20s, early 30s, fucking everything up, which is like the premise of Bridget Jones. But we love Bridge. Um, and then I was just turned on to this one from Chelsea, from Chelsea Dolling Reads, and it was actually a read now uh, through NetGalley, so I didn't actually have to request it. And that is called Only When It's Us by Chloe Lease. And this one is a hate to love adult contemporary romance about a woman who is like a soccer player and um, something about she gets help from her professor kind of hooks her up with this guy for help. I don't know if it's with classwork or what it is. And um, he's kind of this like really grumpy guy. And um, they have a bit of like a antagonistic relationship that turns sexy. So we all need that in our lives. So yeah, those will be the arcs that I'm going to try to get to this month as well. Um, and so that's it. That's all I have. All I have. That's a ton. Um, I have these plus the couple of audiobooks I talked about plus those arcs. It's going to be a busy month, but guess what? I can't leave the house. So what better time than to read a crap load of books. Thank you so much to Becca for creating Becca's Bookopoly. I will link her um, playlist for all of those down below and of course all of her contact, Twitter, Goodreads, all that stuff. We love Becca. She is wonderful. Um, she is a queen. We don't read a ton of the same stuff. Like she's like heavy into fantasy and I don't read fantasy at all. Um, but I just love watching her videos because She's a joy to watch and her bookopolies are super creative and fun. And yeah, so thank you so much to Becca for creating this and not being upset for uh, that I'm trying it out. Um, and yeah, this board was time consuming and I made mistakes on it. And you all are just going to be nice and not say anything, right? Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we will see at the end of April how many of these books I did um, read. I know that Becca does a like if she doesn't read them then she has to get rid of them sort of thing. I may do that. I don't know. I don't feel like being hard on myself this month. I just really I don't want to do it to myself. So maybe I just won't. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you've not already and you would like to see more of my face in your feed. And uh, I will be back soon with more book talk. Bye. Say bye, June. Bye, June. Junie, can you look up? Oh, pretty girl.